take aim. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. For previous Diwali, we had already made some interesting and special videos. If you have not watched, you can get the link in the description box. One of them was this Bluetooth based smartphone controlled rocket launcher. For this Diwali, we'll be making an upgraded version with direction control. So straight away, we'll start building it. This will be our base. Using the metal L clamps, I'll be mounting a 12 volt 10 RPM DC gear motor. which helps for horizontal base rotation. On top of it, there will be one more layer on which I will be mounting this second 10 RPM gear motor. So this motor helps in the vertical movement. This is 6 mm threaded rod which will hold both the arms and the gear wheel. These are normal plastic pipes to hold the rockets. Finally, this complete unit will sit on the base. This is all about the hardware. Moving on to the electronics, I'll be using the Arduino Uno as a main controller, HC05 Bluetooth module to receive the smartphone commands, a smartphone to control both the DC motors. I'll be using one L293D motor driver, 
and two channel relay module to ignite both the rockets individually for igniting i'll be using this 12 volt lead acid battery and finally some jumper wires the circuit connections for this project i have already done if you want the detailed explanation on the connections and the concept for this igniting you have to refer to our previous project on the rocket launcher even for this project i have provided the code and the circuit diagram link in the description box to control this device we need to install an application on smartphone i am using this bluetooth serial controller in the application we have to do some configuration based on this project for that go to preferences visibility here i'll keep button 2 4 6 and 8 for direction control and button 14 17 for relay control for reference i'll be giving proper name to these buttons in the preferences and name now i'll assign the values for every button which is to be sent during that button press so this should match exactly with the code In my case I have used alphabets A B C and D for button 2 4 6 and 8 Similarly alphabet E and F for button 14 and 17 Similarly we have to also set the value to be sent during button release for that in the preferences inside command there is one option called stop command again enable the same buttons and assign the alphabet z for all the used buttons also if you want to see the values sent on the phone screen just enable this option under preference that's all the configuration now we'll see how the control works
that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you want to give it a try and face any difficulties let me know in the comment section below for all the sources you can refer to the description and for more interesting videos subscribe to our channel and also follow us on instagram thank you for watching i'll be back in another interesting one